Dufferin Mall in Toronto, Canada, March 16, 2021-2022. Checking it out. We're already behind one year. It's springtime and we have to put the clocks forward. But I did a year backwards. Okay. Wow. This mall is happening. I've uh, checked a few malls in the city and checked Sherway, Cloverdale Mall. This one so far is the busiest one, but let's see how things are here. Look at the Toys R Us. What's this place? Baskin and Robbins. I haven't been in this mall in uh, probably 20 years. I used to come here all the time and uh, photograph for this mall. I used to do all their uh, PR back in the day. Wow. Wow, this is the busiest mall I have seen in a while. Very good, very good. You know what smells here? A cinema buns. Cinnabons. This, the whole place smells like cinnabons. Super sweet. I met a great artist here in this mall. His name was Ian Leventhal. And uh, I met him here. He used to do all the, well, they used to have a Christmas uh, decoration here back in the day. And he used to, do the decoration for it right in the middle here and I used to photograph that and I met him and I ended up working for him for years uh, photographing all the all his artwork wow this Walmart is interesting too still there a message is coming in and this is where they have their uh, Christmas situation very nice Dufferin Mall is located in Toronto, probably Dufferin is, I would say, to the core of the city is probably, uh, if you're on a bike, you probably a 15 minute bike ride to the downtown, 20 minute bike ride. Would the car forget it? Today it took me forever to get here uh, because traffic was crazy, just traffic was insane. Uh, so forget it with the car. but. Okay, a few toy stores. They got these shops closed. Not many, not many. It's a pretty big one too. What I like about it, they just closed it and they didn't try to, you know, sure we all boarded up the stores and actually they've done that to that place. Let's see, we talked to great. Foot Locker, something else. These are the shops you're gonna have here. That place is closed. They've closed the pink building. I used to get harassed here for taking pictures. Even though I used to work for the mall, they used to always stop me and ask me, Who's, who are you taking pictures for? What are you doing? And I had to call the office. And security used to be crazy with me. And this time I saw the security guards, I was like, are they going to tell me, what are you doing? But we got a body cam. I didn't know if they're going to object to the filming here or not. Probably not. They're promoting their mall. This place is 80% off of everything. I like these signs. This store, check it out. It's pretty well decorated with lots of balloons. $5, $3, $10, everything is on. Price that's uh, affordable. If you're looking for sexy outfits for the winter, summer, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. He's just gone nuts, that guy. If you're watching the band Motley Crue. Rock and roll. Alright, so oh here's the food court. Oh, I remember this. This whole place smells like cheap perfume.
Canada wedded year, so. So we have the food court here. Mm, let's see what kind of food they have. New York fries, Subway. They're usual, they're usual. Remember folks, once you come to the food court, you don't need a mask anymore. No matter what, the virus stops at the food court entrance, always. That's the rules, that's the science, and that we what we agree with. Sure King, Pizza Pizza, the Mandarin place is closed. I'm not a fan of uh, food court food, but I'm just checking it out. And then this place is closed, uh, whatever it was. Subway, let's go through here. They figured a... <laughs> they figured a takeout food is so bad for you. That you don't have to worry about a ma mask at this point. Jimmy the Greek. I think if I was gonna eat anything here, I'd probably do Jimmy the Greek and definitely not the Chinese uh, fried stuff. KFC, hmm. Uh, that's it, is this it? This is the mall? Oh. This place closed, it's a college of hair, I guess. Actually, I would say this mall has stayed pretty good. It used to be a pretty rundown mall, and uh, you know, we back in the was it late 90s, we worked on promoting everything and uh, trying to make it look good, and we did all the public publicity advertising, and it got picked up. And I think okay, it still goes this way, and I think it's it's actually busier than Sherway. Maybe I went on a slow day on Sherway. Today is like a Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday in March and it's about seven o'clock six actually it's actually quarter to seven around seven o'clock on game star oh actually what happened here didn't we come here uh oh I'm already lost we did didn't we did we come this thing or Yes, we did. We did come this way. So let's go back this way. Man, see how fast you get lost in a mall? That's designed to get you lost so that you keep turning around and keep shopping. Man, can't believe Phil Mission got lost on a mission again, again. My God. Susie Cher. I don't know if they had that store still. Trade secrets, hair place, all these wigs. Hmm. I have some wigs in my place in New York City. Hopefully, people have the wigs because I do photo shoots with them. So, <laughs> all right, I think this is the end of this. Uh, let's keep going. And of course, look at this. I'm going to turn around quietly. That's uh, Tim Hortons. They got their own lineup section. Dollarama. That goes in the basement, does it? Yeah, it does. This place closed, Hearing Solutions. Can it be? Isn't it a medical place? They're like, screw it. This place is empty too. Marks. That's uh, when you buy like your work clothes. Let me check out some of their t-shirts. See if their t-shirts are. No, these are women's t-shirts. Forty percent off. There you go. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Good. Here, we did some shopping too. Oh, look at this store. That's, oh, there's a clothes store here. 
and then there's this one. This one's pretty interesting still. I like this one. It's a very interesting. Very low key. I like this one. It's got a very New York City feel to that store. Oh, this luggage store. Oh, no frills. You know what? I need some lemons. And then this shoe store here. All right. You know what we're going to do? Let's go to Atlanta, some lemons, see if we can squeeze some lemons. Is this an entrance to this place? And we did it awkward. Okay. Du, 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 du. Look at this. We just showed up in the no frills. Two bedrooms, huge patio, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Hey. Maybe I stopped the video here, maybe not. We'll see. Let's see how fast we can pick up some. Lemons. Oh, this place. Can we go in here? Entrance. Yeah. All right. We're on a mission to go check out Dufferin Mall. And we ended up in shopping for lemons. Check it out. Check it out. What are the lemons? Wow. Wow, this place is massive. Oranges are here. Hmm. Gee, man. Oh, there they are. Come on. I don't know what. There you go. Lemons. What's this difference between this and that? Naturally imperfect. And uh, what's the difference in this one? We're going to go. got a bag of lemons. Sometimes for snack I have a lemon with the skin and all. I don't know. I guess I get some vitamin C in the situation we're at. Oh. Let's go check out a cashier. I like the human contact. Although, you want me to go ahead? Thanks, man. I just got lemons. I'm gonna make some lemonade. <laughs> Thank you. How much? How much is it? Reach out. There you go. Thank you. That's fine. All right, we got a. It's like five dollars for this. I give her five dollars, and she gave me no change back. Yeah, so it's like four ninety nine. Wow, four ninety nine for a bag of lemons in Toronto, Canada. Here's the bag. Bag of lemons. Are they organic, farmer? Um, they're not organic. Regular lemons. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven lemons for five dollars. That's how much things are. I see. I think that's pretty expensive. Because lemons are and no and they won't give you a bag. Okay, let's get out of here. We're gonna check more stuff. That's the elevator to the offices that I used to take to go to the offices upstairs. I had a great client here. For years, another closed store. They covered this, right? Yes, okay. We're gonna go back to the parking lot. Oh. Okay, we checked all the stores. See what's going on. The client I had here was a great, great client. She really liked me and gave me a lot of good jobs. The trick in uh, any kind of business, photography or uh, if you guys want sugar, health-wise, avoid all sugary stuff like that. It's really bad for you. If you want to work as a photographer or as anything else, you have to meet like-minded people. I mean, if first person likes you, you know, you guys are politically aligned, you get along, you work great together, we support each other, I do great for, for them, they do, you know, they pay me on time and everything. And it was a great relationship we had with her here. And uh, here's a bunch of clothes, uh, whatever they are. 
At basically, so far we've had one close, two closed restaurants and two closed. So this mall is actually not bad. It's doing very well. Here's security. Make sure you didn't see us filming. Clear. Okay. Everything is more of a. It's like twenty-nine dollars for this uh, leather jacket. Twenty dollars for this Canadian thing. You know, here's my tip. Any of these stuff that's twenty-nine dollars, you buy, you think it's cheap. It's kind of a waste of money because it just doesn't. It's probably not a good quality. It doesn't last for long. And then you wear it a few times. It looks silly. This place smells really bad. I, I just don't like this uh, Bath and Beyond stuff. Oh, really allergic? Allergic? Does that make sense? Yeah, if you buy a good kind of jacket, it'll last you for years. You end up saving money. But all this sale stuff, like jackets that look like leather, but they're not. A lot of shoe stores everywhere. Maybe I'm noticing the shoe stores because I'm in the need of a pair of boots. Here's another one. All the... I got holes in my shoes. I was getting wet, so... Yeah, there's tons of shoe stores. Oh my god. I'm not making a mistake, right? I'm a particular shopper. Once I find a pair of shoes that I like, there's another one. Oh my god. There's a lot of shoes here. Although these are... This will get your shoes... This kind of shoes will get your feet wet no matter what. Once I find a pair of shoes I like, I keep buying the same pair. It's like a lingerie store. Very sexy. Another shoe store. Wow. The Doc Martens. This guy's checking out the shoes. Alright. Fun times. What is this place? It's one of those stores that are super dark. There. Gotta be, I don't know, it looks like that uh, store from the States that I went once time in. It's super dark. This kind of stores you get. I don't know, knickknacks, sweatshirts, waste of money. There was a store closed. Not many of them in the mall. I think this mall's doing pretty good. We got this ring store. Accessories and, you know, Fido, telephone. It's another junk store. There's another junk store. These are all the stuff you don't need. You know, they look cute and stuff like, okay, pink hairbrushes, really green stuff. All of this stuff, if you're trying to save money, just because it's Patrick's Day or a Gay Pride Day, you don't want to buy a whole green outfit or a rainbow outfit just because of a special day, you know? If you're going to wear it more than once a week, then buy it. Otherwise, you know, green St. Patrick's Day, you spend like 50, 60 bucks on clothes and 100 bucks on beer that's a cute girl posted that girl that's a cute model and uh you know you're wasting a lot of money save your cash people here's walmart again so we're walking back to the mall h&m hardly anybody in this store a new collection smells like that cinnamon bun again they're trying to entice you with sugar. What's this place? Jewelry? That looks like a virus. They're hanging a virus right from the ceiling, isn't it? It does, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's kind of crazy. It's a jewelry store. I don't think it's fair. This H&M is massive. Is it? Yeah, it is huge. Maybe that was an H&M. I don't know. Another place. Everything is on sale. No tax sale. Colorful stuff. Avoid all this stuff. Stuff. All right. Oh, we're almost at the end of the. Here's the cinnamon bun. Yeah, this H and M place is massive. They have half the. Hey, look at this massive. Oh, this is the men's section. For the men's and a women's section. They got security. Oh, there he goes. He was coming after us. I noticed him coming after us and this lady is like, it's an emergency. So he took off. Let's get out of here before the security catches us. Everybody, put your mask on and duck. Okay, I think we're out of here. What's this? Telephone store? Tell us. 
Baskin and Robbins, and a Toy Story. We're almost out of here. Wow, that was a close call. But I totally saw him coming in really close to me. That's a fun BMW, Zap 3, Toy Store, Toys R Us. All right, we're out of the Dufferin Mall in Toronto. Thanks for joining me for this walk. Oof. We'll catch you on the next uh, lemon ride. <laughs> All right, we got electric yours. How cool is that? Whoa. Wow. The car had run out of space. But yeah, let's catch some of these uh, side profiles of this area. One thing I'm going to say, the temperatures are fantastic today. It's like uh, 10 degrees above zero. And it's amazing, amazing, amazing temperatures. Wow. Here's the entrance out of Walmart. Just to give it a feel for the place, what kind of mall it is. That's a cool shot. Let's see if we can make it. Beautiful. The lady's doing exercises while waiting for the ride to pick her up. Today is an amazing day. No gloves, almost doesn't, you don't need a jacket. It's, ah, oh, finally, I think it's summer. This weekend, there's going to be a the protest downtown. And I got a feeling it's going to rain, which is going to be exciting if it rains. But either way, I'm trying to cover some of it as much as I can. I want to thank everybody for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. We just did a walk through Dufferin Mall. We're going to see you in the next film, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.